This is it, a can't miss game and a backdrop to match the special occasion. The fans had this one circled on their calendars long ago and now it's a matter of who will dominate on the pitch. Big characters on the big stage, what a prospect. All the action coming up on EA TV. Hello and welcome to the northeast of England. We're here at St James's Park. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And we've got so much to look forward to. This is where it all begins in Europe's Premier Club competition, the UEFA Champions League, the group stage, match day one action. It's Newcastle United against Paris Saint-Germain. Well, the first game of the group is so vital, you just can't get off to a losing start. This could be a tight battle today, Derek. Very quick thinking there. So the starting 11 for Newcastle United. Nick Pope gets the nod between the posts. Sandro Tonali plays alongside Bruno Guimaraes in central midfield. And the attack is led today by Alexander Isak. Saint-Germain starters. Gianluigi Donnarumma is the keeper. Lucas Hernandez plays with Ashraf Hakimi in the fullback positions. Usman Dembele starts with Kylian Mbappe in the wide areas. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Happy to pass the ball, but remaining patient. Dembele. Can he take the chance? A smart stop here. He's having quite the game for himself. Save after save after save. Well, considering the form book, Stuart, Kylian Mbappe has got to be taken seriously here. Well, he's been great since joining the club. He's their leading goal scorer. And it's his move. Well, they could finish here, Stuart. Well, they're going to feel, aren't they, that that was an opportunity squandered. Well, from that position, it should be 1-0 now. Great chance for them. to beat him and just over the bar really good effort well what a chance to take the lead and doesn't he know it but will they get a better one than that Marquinhos Hakimi, Toro Muani, Ferreira, Hernandez. I'll tell you what, that is really top class defending. Well, no let up, plenty of pressure. Sandro Tonari. Newcastle moving the ball forward, what can they do from here? And gobbled up with ease by the keeper. Kono Muani. Opportunity it is. And a goal! Now they've broken through, 1-0. Yeah. 
Well, look at this again, because this is a really well-worked goal. The passing is incisive, the movement of the ball is bright, and it leads to a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a great goal. Well, he has to come up with a game plan. His side are struggling now. 1-0 then. Guimaraes. And the Magpies moving the ball forward with purpose. Almiron. Isaac. And danger averted. Well read. Hakimi. Can he find the right pass? A disappointing end to the move. Bruno Guimaraes It's with Joelinto Now can they counter clinically Well they promised much on the break But ultimately delivered little Well it could be on for him here And a fine stop Quite the catalogue of great saves And that the latest one so getting close to the half-time interval and PSG with the lead. Stuart, what strikes you about what you've seen from them in this half? Well, they've worked hard and played well to be in front here, but they now need to keep their focus as we approach half-time. Well, this is looking promising. And still danger here. There will be one minute added on at the end. Here's Hernandez. And that's it. We've reached the halfway point here at St. James's Park. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the play. advantage PSG after the first 45 but a long way from being decided still there is work to do bad challenge and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next and following the infringement a caution yeah no surprise there that was always going to be a booking well, they are committed to making the substitution here Dembele. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Acres of space for the Magpies. And let's give credit to the defending. Donnarumma. to ease the pressure Almiron that was the chance they could get caught out on the break here who can he pick out and stopping the danger and it's with Isaac and not an effort that will live long in the memory. Well, the defenders will be relieved because that was a good chance from that sort of distance. He should really be hitting the target. It was a really poor attempt in the end. Kylian Mbappe. Here's Hernandez. 
Now PSG moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Well, it came to nothing in the end. Isaac. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Well, it petered out. Vitor Ferreira. Toro Muani. Mbappe. And the flag has gone up. Offside. Substitution it is for PSG. options available it's with Joe Lindo here's Isaac Almiron just the challenge that was required Ferreira Skriniar Manuel Ugarte Pereira. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. Vitor Ferreira. Here's Hernandez. A real opening now. Oh, did so well to deny him. Sven Botman. Dimarais. Just 15 minutes remaining. Now, can they hit them on the counter? Oh, big chance! A goal! Real excitement! A back and forth type of game. Now they're level. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. Well, they needed that, and so did he. Just look at the manager's relief there. So back underway. They've levelled it at 1-1 here. Good use of advantage in favour of PSG. Good visualisation and execution. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. being pressed here Nick Pope and support available Mbappe and still pressing and a goal at this stage of the game it might be decisive and just look at their supporters Well, let's take another look, and it's not good enough defensively. They're slow to react, don't get tight enough, and don't deal with the situation. And there's the outcome. A dramatic moment near the end and that might well be the decider Callum Wilson here's Isaac Sandro Tonari Isaac well on the attack hunting for a late equaliser here well the final whistle is almost upon us PSG would dearly love to hear it Will they get the win here? Stuart, your thoughts on their performance? Well, they should have had this wrapped up long ago. Some of their football has been excellent, but they're going to need to be resilient in these final few minutes to get their much-deserved victory. Well, totaling up all the stoppages, we'll have two additional minutes. Fabian. Real determination in the challenge. A throw in here. 
And the referee allowed them to continue, but now he's going to go back and hand out the yellow card, Stuart. Well, he thought he was going to get away with that, but quite rightly, he's got a booking. PSG are going to switch things around on the personnel front. Dembele. And that is full time, really the worst possible start, you've got to say. Well, it's not the start they wanted. It puts them under a bit of pressure going into the next game. They need to bounce back now. Well, just the sort of performance they were looking for from the talented Kylian Mbappe. Well, that performance sums him up, really. You're never disappointed with what he gives you. Such a good player.